everyone, it's Michelle. First, I want to say a big thank you to those of you that wished my hubby a 50th birthday. Um, I will make sure I tell him when I see him today. He should be home from work shortly. Um, but if you follow me on Facebook, you'll notice that I posted a few days ago um, a, a picture of a, a, a guy my age. Um, it was his profile picture from his Facebook page. And I just found out that he had passed away. And this guy I had known since I was about eight years old. <coughs> he was um, a big part of my childhood and my early teenage years. In fact, um, he was the guy I was dating, if you could call it that, because we were pretty young yet. Neither one of us could drive. That's how young we were. Um, but he's the guy I was dating um, before I started going out with Mike. Um, so you know how young I was. And um, in fact, when I agreed to start going steady with Mike, it was hard for me to let go of that, of this guy. Um, yeah, I, sorry. Um, Mike, Mike said that I was still kissing this other guy when I was dating him. Um, he, I just, he, I had the hugest crush on him. And like I said, he was a big part of my teenage years. Um, but sadly, at age 49, he passed away very unexpectedly. Um, he had a heart attack. Uh, there was an autopsy done and, um, Apparently he had heart disease and he didn't know it and nobody knew it. So um, I've been trying to, to process this, that, that why, why so young? He was 49 years old. I mean, that's just, that's way too young. And I know people die younger than that every day. Um, but it doesn't happen to me every day. Uh, the last time I lost somebody that close to me that was so young is back in 99, I had lost a very, very dear girlfriend and she was in her 30s. So it had been a long time since I had to say goodbye to someone so young that was part of my life. And, and I hadn't, this guy's name was Mark, and I hadn't talked to Mark for a few years other than, you know, we would chat on Facebook. Um, the last time I had seen him in person was two years ago when his mom had died and, and I was close to his, his family too. And his dad is still alive. However, I just found out today at the funeral that his dad has four to five months to live because he um, has bladder cancer. So this whole family has just like fallen apart in the last few years. And Mark is leaving a daughter and an ex. He divorced his wife a long, long time ago, but um, he was a great dad and he's leaving a daughter who's um, about two years younger than my kids. And I can't imagine what she's going through having to say goodbye to her dad that she was so, so close to. And I'm saying all this to say that it makes you think. There's a lot of things that just make you think, you know what I mean? Um, but I was on Facebook this morning and I see and read so many of my Facebook friends complaining about stupid stuff just stupid stuff and everybody not everybody but half of my friends are Democrats and half of my friends are Republicans and you know I don't like to talk politics and I won't reveal my party affiliation but um, so 50% of my again Facebook friends just up in arms over today's inauguration and you know I'm trying to sit and watch the inauguration and I'm hearing these reporters, these newscasters, just so biased and they're just bashing everything that had to do with this. Um, hi little man, hold on, puppy wants help. And I'm, you know, I'm trying to get ready to go to a funeral. And, I'm, and I know that, okay, the, the state of America and the running of the United States of America is a lot more important than my little funeral that I'm going to. But it, 
it kind of just pissed me off. I guess, yeah, I can't remember. Hi, everyone. Hi, world. World. Casper. Casper. World. Um, it kind of just pissed me off. And I, it's time for me to start saying goodbye to some of these people who are constantly negative around me. You know, none of us know how much time we have left. Um, I could die tomorrow. You could die tomorrow. We could die tonight. Um, and you don't want to think that way, but you've read it before that you're to live every day like it's your last, and I know that's just a saying, and it's very hard to do because, let's just face it, sometimes the reality and our reality can suck. But if you are allowing yourself to be surrounded by negative people um, and that negative energy is going to rub off on you and I need to, it's time for me to let some of that go. Um, again, I'm not, I'm not signing off of Facebook, but it's time for me to unfollow some people. Um, none of you guys, because you guys on YouTube are just like, Everybody that subscribes to me, you guys are awesome. That's what is so, like, super cool about YouTube. Facebook right now is so negative. I freaking hate it. But YouTube, you guys are uplifting and motivating and just sweet, sweet people. Why can't, why can't we have more of that? Why? Why? Why just, why can't we be surrounded by that all the time? It's like I want to spend 24-7 hanging out with you guys and, and escaping reality sometimes. Um, so <laughs> that's kind of all I really had to say is that attending a funeral for someone who has died so young has just made me, again, think about you know, how am I spending what time I have left on this earth since we don't know how much time we have on earth? How are we choosing to spend it? How are you choosing to spend it? Are you choosing it? Are you choosing to spend it doing something you love? Or are you miserable? Are you surrounding yourself with people who are positive people? Or are you surrounded by idiots? And I don't want to label people, but y'all know there's idiots out there. Um, so, I want to be positive. I want to be positive. Do you want to be positive? I'm positive that you're going to be around for a little longer. Yeah. Um, so, if you ever hear me being super negative and nasty on YouTube, please tell me. <laughs> I don't want to be that way. And I don't think I would ever be that way. I know I get a little flip every once in a while about how irritated I get when I'm at Walmart. And if I'm going to, if it's going to keep irritating me, then irritating me, then I just need to leave Walmart. <laughs> Um, so I complain about some stupid stuff here and there, but, um, um, I want to be a positive energy source for you guys and for people that I'm, I'm, I'm around. Um, seeing Mark's family and some older family friends that, again, these are, um, people that were his parents' age as well that we knew and... And knowing that, you know what, the next time I see them is probably going to be in their casket. It's, it's difficult. It's really difficult. It's like our, 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 our circle of people that we run with gets smaller and smaller and smaller. But yet we are trying to build all these friend communities out there. But none of them are, are important. They're just kind of, I don't know. The social media friendships just aren't the same as the as the real ones. <sighs> um, saw some of Mark's friends that I have not seen for, well, since I was probably 15, 16 years old, literally. So what am I, 47? Over 30 years since I've seen some of these guys that, um, that we used to hang out with. It, it's, it's weird. It's just weird. So I think that's all I'm going to say. Um, it's going to be a short little video, I know. Um, so, again, it's it's Friday. Um, we're having leftovers tonight since um, 
Mike's birthday yesterday messed up my Thursday leftover night. So tonight is leftover, so nothing to film as far as food. And we have a pretty busy weekend, so I'll be sure to bring you along this weekend. Um, I finally get my hair colored tomorrow, Saturday. Um, and then we are having some friends over tomorrow night to hang out with us. Our best friends are coming over. And then Sunday we're going to my mom's for dinner to celebrate Mike's birthday with them. So it'll be a nice, fun weekend. And I'm looking forward to something happy to finish off my weekend, considering it's not starting out very happy. So, um, again, thank you guys for being such a great community of, of people. Um, and I look forward to hopefully many years of, of doing this and maybe getting to know some of you guys even better than what I do now. So again, thank you. Have a great weekend and I'll see you soon. Say goodbye. Say goodbye.